yeah awesome guys for tuning in again today we're gonna look at uh, waterproof pmr radios waterproof walkie talkies this is a little bit of a special thing and to be precise i have the yellow motorola talk about t92 h2 walkie talkies and as you can see they are waterproof rated by the ip67 standard and if i just flip this around real quick we can see in the details maybe i can zoom in a little bit here or hold it a little bit closer that ip67 so, uh, supposedly means submersible up to one meter for 30 minutes and if you drop it in the water it's supposed to float so uh, that it's probably pretty handy if you like boating or jet skiing and guys i vividly remember uh, some dudes uh, down at the marina with the jet skis uh, driving really way too fast on the water which probably the water police with their boats they didn't like that but uh, hey they did it anyway it's kind of pretty bold move uh before i digress any further um, it says it has a 10 kilometer range and uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, unbox these have a look at the accessories and then in part three do a range test usually you only get a very high range with pmr radios if you have favorable conditions so maybe if you're on the water you get a qu pretty good range out of these radios as opposed to when you're using them in the city with a lot of concrete buildings then your range can shrink drastically because PMR radios, they only have 0.5 watts output power. Uh, guys, you can also compare other radios on my channel page in the radio section. I can quickly show this to you here. You're invited to compare other radios with these Motorola radios. Although I have to say waterproof radios, uh, I think it's the first that are really truly waterproof that I reviewed. The other ones, they were just uh, the other Motorola's that I had, they only had like a maybe if it's a light rain or something like that. So those are simply be submersible. Guys, uh, let's get rolling with the unboxing and then jump to the range test. Uh, and you can always use the navigation below the video to jump to any point in the video, such as the summary and conclusion and the like. Guys, let's get rolling. Now guys, let's have a closer look at the waterproof walkie talkies from Motorola, the talk about T92 two-way radios. So. Essentially, what I really like always if you have radios such as this uh, that are a little bit more on the uh, premium side to have this uh, carrying case if you transport them around, um, stuff doesn't get lost. You just always put stuff back into that uh, nice carrying case and uh, that way your two-way radios, everything always stays nice and organized. Uh, obviously, if you have radios that don't have the carrying bag included, you can always get a carrying bag after the fact. But uh, I mean, this is tailor-made just for these waterproof radios. So that's really, really fairly nice. Maybe let's uh, take one out in here and it's always sits very well in place. Um, you can uh, throw this in the back of your car or in your luggage and uh, you're always very well organized. Uh, let's give you a little bit of a close-up shot here. Obviously, the build quality uh, tends to is, is much, much uh, tends to be very nice with uh, Motorola radios. Uh, I would always say the nicest build quality that I previously had in my other reviews were the Motorola TLKR, I believe T81 Hunter. I can overlay shot right here, so you see the design is somewhat similar. However, these uh, seem to be thicker have this uh, intense yellow color, which probably makes a lot of sense if you drop that in the water somewhere on the lake. And uh, yeah, the touch uh, buttons here are, are different. And uh, also I think the other one had maybe only one screw. I'm not exactly sure. I probably have to look this up myself again. And then here USB charging port on the side. Again, really thick material. Up here we have a microphone connector. So guys, I'm not exactly sure how waterproof this is with the microphone connector. I would be still be kind of afraid that water may be coming in, but those are the Motorola radios that I could find, the consumer grade ones uh, with the highest IP water rating. The other radios that I tested in the past, they don't have nearly as high as a water rating uh, or they have no water rating at all. So why don't I show you some of the other accessories in here? And in a way it makes sense that these are a little bit thicker because they are supposed to float on the water like that. Ah, and one point I forgot, 
there also seems to be some LED lights in here. That's also a feature that these other radios didn't have. So let's quickly look at the included power adapters. Um, there seem to be two. This would be the European one for the German market. And you have this handy Y split in here. So you can charge uh, two radios at a time. This goes to micro USB. And there's also a second one that you can use for charging. And I think this looks like a UK power plug. So if you're in a different country with different power plugs, then maybe you have a different combination. But I mean, that can be handy if you go on vacation. You have a second uh, one here. Then let's pull this up a little bit. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, the TLK RT81 Hunter, the green ones that I showed you just a second ago, they used to have way more uh, accessories in terms of charging stations and earpieces because obviously that was a Hunter edition. This is probably here the Boat edition. And uh, this, this was also very, something very interesting that I didn't uh, never seen before. I mean, at first glance, it looks like a belt clip, but it has the included whistle and maybe I can try this real quick. Oh guys, it really works and it's pretty loud. Um, you have to try it at least once. Uh, so that's the belt clip. Obviously it attaches here. So if you ever need to signal, um, you can use that to signal. Uh, kind of interesting. I've never seen a belt clip that doubles as a whistle. And then two batteries. So again, looking at this battery pack, we see it's 800 milliamp hours. Uh, sorry guys, I'm losing focus here every now and then. A really nice compact battery pack. Uh, let's put this in real quick. So for this, I'm quickly taking off this whistle bell clip. Kind of interesting contraption here. And then obviously you need a coin. I'm thinking this is probably tightened down so that no water comes in here. So let's see whether I can use my Russian lucky coin to uh, unscrew this and no, <laughs> no luck with the Russian lucky coin. Uh, too bad. Uh, it really seems the Russian coin is too big. That's why you always have to have a backup coin from the Japanese central bank, 50 cents backup, uh, backup coin. Always have multiple lucky coins. Uh, better more luck than less. If one fails you, you have a backup. It's a good old wisdom. So yeah, I mean, that's gonna take a moment here. Uh, it's pretty tight down. And you see that's also rubberized. So let's say there's some water on here or your hands are wet. Um, these rubberized, uh, how do you call that, inlets? They give you a little bit extra grip. So I also like that a lot. So there you go. I took this off. You see the back side of the inlet. And yeah, there seems to be some, how do you call this guys? gasket some kind of rubberized gasket that ideally should keep the water out so let's put the battery in and here it always says this side up so be mindful which side you put this in and ah i noticed they put that somewhere in the middle so as long as this is to the side this flap you uh, can put it so that you have an easy time putting uh, taking the battery pack out again if you need ever need to change it which is probably not gonna be for the foreseeable future. And wow, we have like this flashlight feature and this is pretty bright guys. So very intense flashlight. Let's turn this off real quick. Um, and from what I've seen, it's like if it floats in the water, then maybe the flashlight gets triggered automatically. Uh, probably have to study the manual there again. So I'm quickly gonna put this back on and uh, maybe I skip this, I do this for the second radio as well and then we should be ready for a quick range test of these radios. I'm not sure what this button is all about, um, but uh, it seems even that it has two lights. It has red and if I push again, okay, it has the very bright flashlight function. So very interesting. Um, Maybe if you uh, throw it in the water, it will trigger the light automatically. Kind of interesting uh, design. Now, this concludes the unboxing part of the waterproof two-way radios slash walkie-talkies, the T92s from Motorola. Like I mentioned before, uh, make sure you have some lucky coins uh, to put in the batteries. And uh, let's charge those oh, radios up right here, switch on the power. 
And uh, guys, it's getting late, so I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do the range test tomorrow and give those radios time to charge up here. You can see it has also like a charging progress indicator, which is nice. And yeah, I mean, accessories, they're not as many as with the Hunter version, but that's why they are, seem to be waterproof. And uh, yeah, 10 kilometers range, I'm probably not gonna get that. And I'm not gonna, usually I can, uh, if you're on water, you may, might be able to get a very long range. But since I am having some trees and some buildings in between, um, I'm always walking my same path. So you have somewhat of an idea. So uh, let's let them charge them up overnight. And then tomorrow I go outside and do the range test, which for you will be immediate. So let's jump to the range test and see what the sound quality is. Range test, range test of the waterproof Motorola two-way radios. Uh, let's see what kind of performance these radios uh, we, we can get with those radios. Test point number one, uh, about 420 feet. Test point number one, 420 feet. So let's go a little bit further. Range test, range test of the yellow Motorola radios. Uh, test point number two with 790 feet, 790 feet should be still loud and clear. Test point number two with 790 feet of the Motorola PMR radio. Range test, range test of the Motorola PMR radio. Uh, we reached test point number three and guys, really nice weather today. Lots of sunshine, so I'm really enjoying going out and doing these uh, water reviews for you guys. Test point number three with 1,250 feet. 1,250 feet, test point number three. Range test, range test of the Motorola PMR radios. Really awesome weather today, guys. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Test point number four, test point number four with 1,540 feet. 1,540 feet of distance. Uh, let's see how this sounds. I'm kind of curious. Uh, how do waterproof radios do? Test point number four. So guys, uh, range test, range test, uh, we already reached test point number 5 with about 2,000 feet of distance, 2,000 feet of distance, and uh, yeah, the Motorola radios still perform very nice usually at this distance, uh, so let's go quite a bit further and uh, test them some more, let's get going guys, test point number 5. So range test, range test, test again, this time test point number six with 2,300 feet of distance, 2,300 feet of distance. Uh, sometimes the quality starts to deteriorate the further I get away. Test point number six, 2,300 feet of distance. Range test, range test of the Motorola PMR radio. Uh, test point number seven with about 2,600 feet, 2,600 feet or approximately half a mile. Let's see how these waterproof radios perform. Test point number seven, half a mile. Again, range test, range test on a really nice uh, spring day. Test point number eight, about 3,200 feet, 3,200 feet of this uh, PMR radio or 0 0.6 miles, I believe, uh, guys, in Europe we use the metric system, so test point number 8, 3,200 feet, or 0 0.6 miles, uh, let's see how the quality performs if I go a little bit further, test point number 8. Range test, range test, test point number 9, guys, uh, about uh, 3 quarters of a mile, 3 quarters of a mile, this Still very nice weather, but it started to get a little bit windy, so let's see how the microphone handles the wind. Test point number nine, three quarters of a mile, or 3,900 feet, test point number nine. Range test, range test of the Motorola radios, uh, test point number 10, about 4,900 feet, or almost a mile, almost a mile. So that's not too bad for these uh, low power PMR radios. Uh, let's see what I can get a little bit further and how the quality sounds. I'm kind of curious. Test point number 10, almost a mile. Range test, range test, test point 11, this is the last test point, about 1.15 miles of distance. Let's see 
see whether the camera still did catch that or switch off already. Uh, test point number 11, train test, test point 11, one point one five miles. Excellent, guys. This uh, concludes the review of the Motorola waterproof radios. As you have seen, the range test, the T92 H2 walkie talkies from Motorola perform quite nicely. Usually, you will get about the, approximately the same results out of PMR 44 radios. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, they should all have the 0.5 watts output power, and the Motorola radios performed uh, quite nicely. Uh, as I've come to expect with most Motorola products. If you want, I also encourage you to head over to my channel page. I can show this to you here and in the radio section, maybe look for the Motorola TLKR T81 Hunter, I believe. This, uh, there's a green Hunter edition, which personally I also liked a lot. But obviously not only Motorola makes good radios, there are a lot of different manufacturers and that's why you can compare a little bit on my channel because uh, one uh, person might just want to have uh, walkie-talkies for their children, then someone else might want to have something like this for water sports, uh, someone else is maybe going, uh, going hunting, and yet another individual just wants uh, something for going hiking. So it really depends, and that's why I have these various reviews. So like I said, this uh, that they have the IP67 uh, waterproof rating is a little bit uh, of a specialty thing, uh, just keep in mind that the range uh, varies, uh, can vary quite significantly based on your environment simply because these PMR446 radios have a lower output power. If you're located in the States, uh, please make sure you look for a corresponding model, uh, let's say GMRS or FM FMRS, uh, that's what you have in the States, I believe. So you, wanna make ch you may want to check those out as well. Unfortunately, since I'm located in Europe, I only have the PMR446 and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, GMRS and FMRS you also want to check because uh, one of the two you can use license free and the other one you have to pay a one-time fee and register it, but you don't have to take an exam because uh, the exams is only for the guys who want to become ham radio operators, uh, which could also be an interesting option if you want to get into ham radio, which is a nice hobby by the way. Guys, this concludes the review. I see you as a subscriber on my channel and in the next video, have fun with your new radios, whichever ones you pick. Uh, I see you, see you soon. Uh, take care. And because you just watched the review of the waterproof yellow Motorola radios, you may also want to compare them to a more budget-friendly alternative. I have a bunch of other videos on my channel. For example, these uh, red Florians that also perform quite nicely which you can find a review on my channel page as well there so guys uh i'm really amazed about how many people have already subscribed you can subscribe right now as well i see you in the next video and uh, maybe even one day in one of my online courses take care